All right, so number one thing we see is water dumping around the foundation. Water dumps around the foundation, goes back towards it, causes issues, puts too much water underneath of the house, maybe goes through a crack in the foundation. Um, you don't want to um, raise the soil up against the house. You want it to fall out into the yard. So you want the yard to be a little bit lower, but you at least want downspouts to get further out. Over here, you can see we had someone do an extension on one, um, but it's become disconnected. Got a little damage here to the brick. Um, but at one point in time, they had it directed kind of back towards the end of the house back here. Now you can see since it became disconnected, we got water inside the house, right? So you standing water inside and it's all because that water wasn't getting directed away from the foundation like it should be. This particular house, brand new, the grading is all back towards the house, which is gonna settle, but the, the downspout here is gonna make that worse, right? All the water is gonna come off this and it's gonna go back towards the house. Can't hardly tell in this video, but it goes uphill to that driveway. And there really should be a low spot kind of between the two where the water comes out and goes to that. Or put an extension on it to get the water to go to the back of the house, right? But you gotta get that water out and away. Same thing here at the deck. You know, that water's going to hit that splash block, come out, and even if it went to the end of the splash block, which it might, uh, it's still going to want to come back towards the foundation. Over here, kind of same thing. And so while you've got a little bit of grading at the house, um, that's going to get worse over the next couple of years um, as the dirt settles, and then that water's just going to want to come right back towards the foundation and then cause, you know, uh, or potentially cause issues. Here we've got... Uh, buried downspout extensions, um, but they've become disconnected. And so a majority of the water is probably going to go into them, but not all of it. And you can tell by the grading that everything's dropped here. And so a really good source of water around the foundation. See here how it's disconnected and kind of askew. And then um, here, kind of same thing, disconnected and askew. And all this stuff causes issues like this where the whole foundation is buckling in because of water around the foundation. Just this right here can cause a lot of issues, really easy to fix. You can see in this, this is where we've got water which will flood into the crawl space and then it recedes. But you can see the soil uh, uh, on top of the plastic and you can see actually the soil line at the foundation wall itself. Here's a sign of water coming through the foundation and here is a sign of water coming underneath of the footing, and they actually tried to redirect it. And here's water coming through the foundation. All this is because someone couldn't put an extension on the downspout like this in order to get the water five, six, you know, 10 foot out into the yard. Mm -hmm.